All right, ladies and gentlemen, turn to somebody next to you and just say, shh, if you would. Oh, thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is David Silverman. I am so pleased to be back. I'm just pleased to be anywhere in person. How many people are delighted to be somewhere in person? And how many people after the last two years were just really glad to fit in clothes of some sort? Uh, yeah, yeah. I have, I, I'm going to give you the secret right now because this is a secret I learned a long time ago. The secret to making sure you fit in your clothes is to buy really expensive clothing. And then you will always keep that weight off. But I am so delighted to see you all here tonight. You know why you're here. Uh, do me a favor. Turn to somebody next to you and just say thank you for coming out tonight for Conservation Northwest and for what you are about to do. Go ahead. And now, all right, don't overdo it. And now, do not disappoint each other. That's the thing. I am so, I, I've lost track, Mitch, I've lost track of how many years I've done this, uh, but it's quite a while. It is quite a while. And every year, people come in. How many are first timers? How many people have never been to this event before? Well, welcome to all of you. Oh my gosh, that is wonderful. That is wonderful. Of course, you've not been to this event before. You were too busy with your pygmy rabbits right over there. She's our pygmy, pygmy rabbit lady. Say that four times fast. Uh, but uh, it is delightful. Welcome to the Conservation Northwest family. And uh, I, I use this auction and this event every year uh, when I talk about auctions because I always say I do what I do, but I need people in the audience that know why they're here. And uh, every year at this event, I am looking at people that know why they are here. Uh, over the last two years, uh, we have seen a lot of stuff go on, but guess what? The need for what Mitch and his team do has not changed. If anything, it has gone up because there are a lot of people, I will not mention them, but they thought that while we weren't looking, they could accomplish some very nefarious things. And Mitch and his crew are keeping their eye on uh, a lot of things, making sure that they keep, uh, let's face it, that they keep Republicans honest. Can we just say it? Uh, can we just say that? <laughs> Don't tell anybody I said that. If I offended you, I'm so sorry you needed it. Anyway, I know I have to watch. See, Joseph, I have to watch my tongue. I promised Joseph. Uh, I'm about to uh, uh, introduce a delightful gentleman, and uh, he is wonderful uh, to talk to. And again, he gets it. Uh, he is the president of the Conservation Northwest Board. Please put your hands together and welcome the one and only Joseph Joy. Welcome. We are back in person and online. I know uh, many of you are joining this online as well. So welcome to all of you. Uh, I want to just say we should all raise our hands for the resilience of us, but, but also the people of Northwest and British Columbia. We managed to go through kind of the gauntlet. And uh, so I just raise your hands just for resilience coming through two years of COVID. <clears throat> now COVID is not over and there's always some new challenge around the corner. You know, fire storms, political storms, you name it, personal tragedies. But I really feel our shared experience gives me complete confidence that we'll tackle as a group, um, as a people, whatever comes ahead of us. That's awesome. I want, uh, you will hear quite a bit about the great work that Conservation Northwest is doing, but I want to spend a little bit of time talking about the staff. Now, as a board member for a number of years and as board uh, president, I've had the privilege of being um, on staff meetings and all kinds of strategy meetings and so on. And I've come to know the staff really well. And I'm um, so proud of them. You know, they, they're competent, they're passionate, and at the same time, they all have their own opinions. And I think all that together is, is vital to have a functioning organization. Just remember that the, the funds co coming in 
get turned into action and impact by the staff. So several of the staff members are here. I won't ask you to stand up, but please uh, join me in a um, show of hands for the absolutely amazing staff. So I've been um, privileged to be on the board. Uh, if, if the board members um, present here don't mind standing up, uh, I'd like to acknowledge them. So e each of us is quite different, and I don't have time to go over each of us, but I would like to highlight a few. So, um, Bill Don Donnelly, if, if you're aware, you, yeah. So, Bill is the longest standing board member. Uh, Bill was the one who welcomed me to the board way back when. And to me, he personifies many things I like about CNW persistence, um, resilience. Uh, and, um, I, and he's been super active, continues to be active. In fact, he had a big part to play in getting today's, today's auction going. So thank you. <laughs> and then moving along to our newest board members, we have Lily Wong, Bradley Johnson, and uh, James, if you don't mind. Yeah, I guess you were standing up earlier, but uh, all of them joined us. You'll hear from Lily later on today. They joined us when we were completely virtual. So for many board meetings, we just saw, you know, like little pictures of them until quite recently. But they represent to me anyway, the next, the younger generation, if you will, and they come from, again, very refreshingly diverse backgrounds. Our role as board members, uh, besides, you know, maybe uh, with uh, sharing with strategy is things like fiduciary responsibility. And the independence and the kind of diversity of the board is very important to ensuring that we are functioning really well as an organization. And let me just say that I'm proud. I'm proud and privileged to be on the board. <clears throat> so I want to uh, welcome some um, state legislatures who have taken the time to be with us today. We've got um, Representative um, Shoemake over there in the corner, <laughs> and Kaylee Galloway, um, Council from the City, the County Council. Thank you. We have Senator Rolfes. Oh, thank you. and Representative Lacano. Thank you. So thank you. I'm going to, before I hand it off to our next speaker, I just wanted to say something personal, which is my wife and I, we've been supporting Conservation Northwest for many years, and we both financially and with my time. And uh, the thing that gives me the most satisfaction is just the realization that the work that we do is kind of transcendental in the sense that on the one hand, we, we are sort of a combination of strategy and tactics because something might emerge and we react to it with some strategy. But the impact is something that is generational. You know, just think about it. It'll, it the impact will outlast me and probably my kids as well. So I can't, you know, it's hard to think of areas where you can invest your time and your money where you can sort of say surely that this is what is happening. So that is just my own personal reason for staying involved with the organization. Now I'm going to um, hand it off to my uh, fellow board member, Amelia Merchan. Um, she will introduce herself, but it's just been an honor to, to know you, Amelia. So. Why it's last in Chai Squeeze Gum Canalks, 
Hearts Galawit in Amaswanik Skumkanalks. Um, it is so wonderful to see all your beautiful faces here this evening. Thank you guys for coming out. <sighs> One of the first things that I said was, hello, friends. Um, and I introduced myself in my language, in Sochchin. And it's both wonderful and exciting to see everyone here. And um, at this beautiful place, it's nice to come back. It feels very friendly seeing faces again in this space for this event in particular. And um, not only at this place, Bell Harbor, but the ancestral lands of the Duwamish. So keeping that in mind and keeping in mind the work that we are continually engaged in and the language that I introduced myself in. Um, as Joseph said, my name is Amelia Marchand and my Nsochshin name is Kumknox. Both my husband and I, um, Joaquin Marchand, have been members of Conservation Northwest since 2016. We've enjoyed every minute of working with CNW staff and board members, and we've been so happy to help in any small way that we could with strategizing and communicating values of indigenous conservation and communication approaches. And this year, Joaquin and I were just as humbled and moved, hopefully as many of you, when one fundamental CNW effort to protect, connect, and restore habitat was achieved. The return of nearly 10,000 acres of land in the Tunk Valley of North Central Washington to the Colville Confederated Tribes. As it happens, Joaquin and I happen to both be Colville tribal members. And as um, citizens, the lands that were important to the ancestors of the indigenous peoples of the Tunk Valley the Okanagan tribe, for millennia, were also very important to the Figlensky family, who settled there in 1904. The return of that landscape to tribal ownership last year, and the priority covenants to conserve biodiversity, um, on the property has been recognized, not just um, in many other conservation or environmental nonprofit circles or indigenous communities, but recognized locally as well as a powerful tool to protect sacred sites and the habitats of traditional foods and medicines. Connect indigenous peoples to those places we have been exiled and excluded from. And to restore the teachings of our cultural ecology and environmental heritage. For my family and the thousands of other citizens of the Colville tribes and the Okanagan nation in British Columbia, that is priceless. The Figlenskis stewarded that land well and the habitat preserved was key in the vision of CNW's leader, Mitch Friedman. We've come a long way since lunch at the breadline, Mitch. <laughs> Without his mentoring 
vision and strategy. My husband and I might not have founded our own indigenous-led conservation organization. I'm honored to call Mitch my friend, and I'm pleased to introduce you all to him this evening. Ah, it's nice to see you all. I want to uh, call attention to an old friend, Senator Rolfus. Christine was on the board of Conservation Northwest in our earliest days. We go way back together. And these days, she chairs the Ways and Means Committee, and she writes the budget. She does a hell of a job of it. And who benefits is wolves in a bipartisan way. Maybe we'll get Enlo Dam out. And so many things. And, and Christine and her husband Leonard and their girls have also in a very personal way made a huge, somewhat secretive contribution to protecting that same corridor that, that Amy just described. So. Christine, we love you, we appreciate you, and thank you. <clears throat> Bailey and Natalie and the whole auction team, you know, this is our third event where we've had to innovate and be at the leading edge of innovation to hold this event, to make it possible and successful, and I'm so proud of my staff for how it's persevered. <clears throat> I'm a little bit raw right now. Um, I lost my mom on Sunday. <clears throat> and um, she was a, a donor and a supporter. <clears throat> Of everything she she would always visit and had relationships with all the staff. She even she even loved Grumpy Grizzly Bear Joe. Um, and, and so, you know, I've been trying to think how I'm going to manage to be upbeat in that sense. But um, what Amy talked about in the Figlensky Ranch. For me, you know, that, that, that was a lot of my effort in the last year. And it was a good year for me. I mean, it was maybe the hardest thing I've ever done in 30, 35 years of this work. And um, one of the most important things, and certainly maybe the most gratifying, personally, <clears throat> I'm, I'm finding this work to be, you know, Incredibly rewarding being able to work with the Calville tribes and also with them and with with the the First Nations of the Similkameen and fighting to protect the Similkameen River from mining uh, and and other you know endeavors with tribes that uh, it, it's a different type of work than what I've personally done in the past and it's extremely rewarding at, at this point in my life. Uh, and, and to the people who made possible that acquisition, when we acquired the Figlensky Ranch for the Calville tribes, as far as I can tell, that's more than 10 times larger than any other American example of land back to sovereign tribes with private funding anywhere in the country. And, and there, there, there wasn't just people and, and money. Those were individuals and their money in acts of generosity and caring that I'll never forget. But it's not about me. I want to talk about some of my other staff. Let's talk about Dave for a second. Dave Warrens is our science and conservation director. What a freaking year. 
not only did we culminate 20 years of work restoring Fisher to the Olympics and South and North Cascades, Dave was, was lead on that, but Dave also initiated with biologists from the Calville tribes and the Okanagan Nation Alliance in BC, restoration of links in the Kettle Range. He and they trapped and translocated and released links. I got to be there for the release of a lynx. Had just an extraordinary event. Wild lynx restored to the Kettle Range. <laughs> or Paula, our policy director. Paula and, and Jay Shepard are our, our wolf team. And incredible work, not only in policy and working with Christine and, and Deborah and other legislators on funding. Because of that, with our private and state funding, Washington has more effort into coexistence, maintaining peace between wolves and livestock, allowing Washington to have the lowest human cause mortality of any wolf state. Wolf recovery being done right in Washington. And Paula and Dave and I and our attorneys culminating more than 20 years of work brought a case to the Supreme Court, Conservation Northwest versus Department of Natural Resources, that when the Supreme Court rules, which could be as soon as tomorrow, I'm confident, I'm hopeful, that this case will redefine the relationship of our state to our state public lands, finally interpreting and putting into action the intentions of our constitutional framers that our public lands are to be managed for the benefit of all the people. And Jay Keeney and his Sage Lands Heritage team, Keith and Jordan are around here somewhere, not only provided the community relationships that enabled broad public and legislative support, that's you know, funding construction of underpasses on Highway 97 to extend, to enable the Cascades to Rockies Habitat Corridor that the Figlensky Ranch and a, another upcoming acquisition that we're doing with the Calville Tribes that's as or more ecologically and culturally significant. Incredible work with the community to make that happen, but also restoring, directly restoring and also getting state funding to restore burned lands, the wildfire issues that we have in our grasslands in north central Washington. But check this out. We don't need fences anymore. We have the electronics to do virtual fencing. And Conservation Northwest, with Jay Keeney's lead, has three pilot projects we're implementing this summer that will impact over 100,000 acres, direct relationships with ranchers where we're erecting towers, two of them went up on the Figlensky Ranch last week, that coupled with $35 GPS collars that go on each livestock, on each animal, allow the rancher from home on his laptop to fence ranches out of creeks, out of leks for sharp-tail grouse, out of bureaus for pygmy rabbits, we don't need barbed wire. Wildlife can roam free in a West without barbed wire. So many more projects. You know, what Joe's got going on, Grizzly Bear Recovery in, in the south part of British Columbia. I'll talk more about that next year because I'm sure we're going to have some big progress to talk about. And National Wildlife Federation, uh, Conservation Northwest for the last half dozen or so years has been the Washington affiliate of the National Wildlife Federation, which is not only the largest and oldest wildlife conservation group in America, but, but the best right now, the most effective by far. The work that the Federation has done this year that we were proud to be part of, funding 
in the infrastructure bill, uh, $350 million for wildlife crossings nationwide. And the Recovering America's Wildlife Act, which is now ready for floor votes in the House and Senate, hopefully sometime in the next one to two months, that will deliver more than a billion dollars a year to modernize our state fish and wildlife agencies. Washington alone will get $23 million a year to implement the recovery of ecosystems and biodiversity work that doesn't get funded now. We're at the front end of modernizing these agencies and, and we're proud to be associated with the National Wildlife Federation. So all the staff, we took advantage of COVID to work over online and develop a new five-year strategic plan. We're gonna have four new programs over the years ahead, we've already implemented one with Kurt in the lead to promote coexistence of wildlife and outdoor recreation because the level of recreation is so intensive now that we can't count on good intentions for our wildlife to, to be taken care of. So we're, we're doing a lot. I had a good year, but we, we had a great year. And I can't remember Conservation Northwest having a bad year. The progress we make in connecting and protecting our large landscape so that it functions, it can support and recover populations of all of our native and inspiring wildlife, it's working. Our message of hope and heritage, our pragmatic, collaborative work eschewing whiny polarization to actually find solutions to problems, it's working. And you all are the foundation and your support is the lifeblood that enables this. And I'm so appreciative. I just want you to know that we all value our relationship with you and the support you give. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mitch. Always, always inspiring, connecting and protecting. I like that. Uh, by the way, right after this, we're going to have a bowl out there. We're going to collect some money for anybody that sells barbed wire and just we have to think about their futures. We really do. All right. Are you, we, uh, let me get my uh, photographer up here. Let's get the photographer up here. Uh, you all have your bid paddles? Let's hold your bid paddles in the air at once for him to get a picture because uh, from the stage, I want you all to see how good you look giving. Come on, come on up on stage. Look at these great bear paws up there. Hold them up, be proud. Be, oh, that is a wonderful picture. And just do us a favor, make sure it's not the last time you hold this paddle up. Did you get that? Wow, oh yeah, oh, yeah, He's be, he really wants you all to be in focus way more a much better photographer than me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've got just a, a few, few wonderful items for you. Let's bring that the golden ticket raffle up right now. Are my recorders in place, Natalie? Are you guys all set? You're all. Are you going to do it back there? Just yell at me. You know, give me the signal. And Michaela, you sold uh, this lady right here. Uh, she sold. Michaela sold. Over 22 of these tickets, I know right there. Give her a hand. And keep it going for all of the volunteers because they have worked so hard all day to make this happen. All right. I guarantee you I'm about to pull the ticket out of the only person that has not thought about this and doesn't even know what it's all about. You watch. All right. Where is ticket holder? And uh, don't forget, you're going to get your choice of any of the live items, just not the uh, the Okanagan experience with Mitch, the uh, nature photography trip and print by Paul Bannock, or the six-day Salmon River rafting trip. But that leaves a lot of other great items. This is ticket holder number nine. How many people are still in? <laughs> I know I'm cruel. I am. Ellen knows that. Three. Nine three nine eight eight four one. So close. That was a so close. That was a nine eight four zero right over there. I think. Right. Last four digits eight eight four one. Where are you? Somebody that is just hungry and is looking at their dinner, not at their tickets. 
last call. You got to, it's somebody in this room because nobody's, 8841, ba-boom, right over there. All right. I'm going to come up. Thank you, Michaela. What is your bidder number so that we get that recorded? Nice. Bidder number 47. Any idea what uh, we're going to take? Anything in the, except for the last three items in the catalog. And so if, where's the, uh, where's, oh, I should have been prepared for this. Let me get the catalog. Thank you, Michaela. And if, if you don't have your catalog there, I'm sure that uh, this gentleman over here will tell you to go skiing no matter what happened, right, Travis? Yeah, Travis had his hopes up for that ski trip. I would tell you to go skiing. So, so I'll tell you what, I don't think you're going to take the first item, so I'll go auction that off and come back to you unless you want three nights in Napa. Do you think you want three nights in Napa? Yeah? Well, that was simple. Three nights in Napa. Boom, right there. Now... The rest of you, the rest of you, please make sure that you hold on to your red ticket because you can't find another one of these in town for a hundred bucks. You simply cannot. That's your souvenir. Thank you, Michaela. Thank you so much. Congratulations right over there. That is wonderful. But we've got some other great, great items. And by the way, we are streaming live. There are 30 seconds below us, but everybody turned to the camera and waved to those people that wanted to be here, but that could not be. They are following along. And now's the time to say, thank you. She, she's just, this lady's not stopping to eat, not looking around. She's going, yeah, hi, how are you? Good to see you. Um, if you are going to proxy bid, if you know somebody out there in television land that wants to bid on something, make sure they call in and you can proxy bid for them and just keep them on the phone. But they're 30 seconds behind us, so they'll want to be live with you on the phone. But we uh, look at that. The, I want to thank uh, Peter Goldman and Martha Kongsgaard, longtime uh, supporters of uh, CNW. Uh, they donated that uh, Napa Valley Escape, and that is absolutely amazing. So let's hear it for Peter and Martha. And if you see them, thank them. <laughs> Item number two, uh, this is a two-day Moclips razor clam dig. You'll learn to dig, clean, and enjoy razor clams uh, in beautiful Moclips, Washington. It is beautiful. It includes a meal of fresh razor clams. Sure, you're going to pick them. Uh, plus wine pairing prepared with our communications director and certified sommelier. Ooh, now's the time for oohs and ahs. Andrea Wolfbach, learn more about our forest field program, also with program lead Jen Sirowitz. Jen will lend her expertise on shellfish harvesting and eating. Also, best practices and conservation advocacy from Washington Coast to the Sagebrush Step. Pay attention to all the details in your program there. Big hand for Andrea Wolfbach and Jen Sirowitz, worth over $1,000. First item of the night, get ready. Let's start it off at a ridiculous $200. Now, who's got a $200 bid? That's what I want. Got to, who's going to give me two? One, two. I need a two. Got a two right there. Now, how about a four? Looking for a four. Got a four back there. Four. There's six right there. Got a six right there. Now, I need an eight. Got an eight over there. Eight is bid. Now, we're up to 1,000. Will you go to 1,000? I want a $1,000 bid. I got an eight over there. Will you go to one? How about a one? Need a one. I want a one. There's a 1,000 new arm in the game. 1,000 over there. Will you go to 12? How about a 12? A little bit more. One to 12. Got a 12 right there. 12 is bid back at you for 14. 14 bid. Now, I need a 16, will you go to 16? I want a $1,600 bid. How about a 16? Will you go to 16? Looking for a 16. 1,600. Drink the wine if that helps. I'll wait. 1,600. I got 14 there. One 16 bid right there. Now an 18, 18 bid. No hesitation. 18 bid. Now how about a two? 2,000 even. Will you go to two? I want $2,000 from you. Don't fold your arms. That's, that's a sign. I want a $2,000 bid. Now they're eyeballing each other. It's mano a womano. I don't even know if that's a thing. Yeah, she's going, what is that? I don't know. I just came out of my mouth and before I got to think, it works. Thank you so much. $2,000 because 18 is once, 18 is twice. Fair warning. He's your family? Well, this is going to be a very awkward Thanksgiving, isn't it? It's just, you're already the winner at 18. Do you want to just outbid him at 2,000? 2,000 there. Look at that. Everybody, everybody, get away from her. She's gone crazy. I got a $2,000 bid. Now that we know what she's willing to do, will you go to $2,200? You do have to. $2,200. Well, if he has to at $2,200, will you go to $2,400? Oh, $3,000 the jump bid. 
the jump bid because she wants bragging rights at the Thanksgiving table. She's going to sit there at Thanksgiving and nah, 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 nah. And she's probably even going to, she's going to bring razor clams. You know she's going to do that to you. You know she will. 3,000 there is once. 3,000 is twice. Fair warning at 3,000. And when I say fair, I only have eyes for you. Sold for $3,000 from bidder number. What's your bid number? Hold up the bear paw. Bidder number 99. Lucky 99. Thank you so much. And a big hand for her brother-in-law and for what he's going to have to go through for the next year. <laughs> Item number three is a two-day Ephrata Pygmy Rabbit release. This is amazing. Uh, and uh, it is going to be uh, led by our wonderful, wonderful lady right over there. I talked to her just earlier, Jordan. And uh, two people will accompany uh, the biologists uh, and this is out in Afreda, which is just beautiful out there. And you'll get hands-on experience with endangered pygmy rabbits. And uh, you'll spend, those are, by the way, if you don't know, they're tiny little rabbits, I assume. I'm just assuming. Okay. Uh, you'll spend a, a day in the heart of Conservation Northwest Sage Lands Heritage Program, known as SHB. You and your guests will help capture, handle, and release pygmy rabbits from their enclosures to their new wild shrub step home. Say that fast. And uh, attention to the details, uh, because this is just a wonderful, wonderful program. Big hand for everybody involved with this donation there. Thank you so much. Worth over $2,000, but I'm going to start it off at $300. Now, who's going to give me three? One and three. Got a three right there. Three is bid. There's a six right there. Six is bid. Now, nine over here. Got a nine right there. Need a 12. 12 is bid. There is 15 right there. 15 bid. There is 1,800 right up there. Got an 1,800. And now I'm looking for 21. Who's going to go to 21? Got 21 down front. 2,100 right there. Will you go to 24? Need a 24. Had about a 24. 2,400 little dollars is all I'm looking for. Got 2,100 here. Will you go to 2,400? I got 2,100 here. Okay, I'll take 22 from you. Will you go to 22? 2,200 right there. 22. Two, now 23, had about a 23, 23 right there. 23 bid, will you go to 24, 24 now, 25, will you go to 25? $2,500, oh, now she's checking, 25 with her financial consultant. 25, 26, 27 right there. 2,700 now, 28, will you go to 28? I want 2,800, 28 bid right there, 28, now I need a 29, who's going to go to 29, will you go to 29? 29 bid right there, now I need three, had about a three even, will you go to three? You're sitting at her table. It's going to get awkward. There's 3,000. There's 3,100 right there. 31. And now we need 32. Had about a 32. Will you go to 32? Want a 32? 32? A little bitty more. Need a 32. Got 32, 32, 33. Is that a 34? I got 33 right there. I need 34, 34 right there. 34 bid right there. 34. I had about a 35. I want 35. 35 bid right there. Now 36. Will you go to 36? We're working our way up there. 3,600 bid. 36. Now 37. Will you go to 37? 37 bid. 37 bid. And now I need 38. Will you go to 38? Want a 38? 38. 38 bid right there. 38. 38 bid right there. Will you go to 39? 39. Will you go to four? Got 4,000 right there. I got a 4,000 bid right there. 4,000 there is once. 4,000 is twice. 4,100 bid. 4,200. I know. 4,200 right there. Had about a 43. Will you go to 43? 43. Will you go to 44? 44? 44 bid right there. 44. I know. I can't do this to you anymore, Ellen, because... I have to work you tomorrow night, too. She's going to be at my auction tomorrow night. I got 4400 and I'll tell you what. I'll do it two times because Mitch gave me that. We have more than one pygmy rabbit sign, apparently. So I'll tell you what. I'll do it for you at 4400 What's your bid number? Bidder number 244 for 4400 Thank you, Ellen Ferguson. 219 both at $4,400. Thank you for doubling up on that. I hope, I hope you got enough pygmy rabbits to go around. Okay, you'll find enough there, yeah. All right, this next one is uh, my favorite. It's Travis's favorite. Travis, you can still go for it. It is the four-day skier's paradise in Rosslyn, B.C. This is in the Kootenai Rockies. Uh, I skied there uh, two years ago at Big White, and this I've always wanted to ski Red Mountain. This is one of Ameri uh, North America's top 10 largest ski resort skiable area of over 3,800 acres. This is amazing. 
40 kilometers of trails also at the Blackjack Ski Club, Red Mountain. You get a one-day fat bike uh, rental uh, for two from Revolution Cycles. Uh, the backcountry cross-country skiing there is amazing. Also comes with gift cards for uh, the restaurant up there, Iggy's Restaurant, Rosslyn Beer Company, Alpine Grind Coffee House Eatery, and Mountain Nugget Chocolate Company because you need chocolate after you ski. Pay attention to the details, but how about a big hand for Alexandra uh, Loeb, the Josie Hotel, Blackjack Ski Club, Red Mountain, all of the donors worth over $2,000. Let's not fool around. Let's start this two-day, I'm sorry, four-day ski vacation off at $500. Now, who's got a five? Got a five right there. Five is bid. There's $750 right there. $750. Here's $1,000. $1,000 bid right there. There's $1,250. There's $1,500. $1,500 bid right there. And now we need a $1,750. Who's going to go to that $1,750 right there? $1,750 bid. There's $2,000. $2,000 bid right there. Will you go to $2,250? $2,250. Now $2,500. How about $25? $2,500 is bid. Got $2,500 right here. $2,500. Now $2,750. Will you go to $2,750? Want a $2,750 from you. I've got 2,500. There's 2,750 right behind you. 2,750. Now 3,000. Need a three. Don't shake your head. That's not a good look for you, really. That is not a very good look. I need a $3,000 bid. Had about a three. Will you go to three? Got 2,750 once. Got 2,750 twice. Fair warning at 2,750. And for $2,750, there's 3,000 right there. Got 3,000. Back at you for thirty-two fifty. Will you go to thirty-two fifty? That's all I want now. Thirty-two fifty. Biddy thought about it. Thirty-two fifty. Thirty-five hundred. Thirty-five. Right behind you there. Thirty-five. Thirty-seven fifty. Will you go to thirty-seven fifty? That's the question on her mind right over there. Need thirty-seven fifty. Got thirty-five hundred over there once. Got thirty-five hundred over there twice. Fair warning. At thirty, a five, a hundred dollars, and for thirty-five hundred dollars. This key, there's thirty-seven fifty. Now we're up to four thousand around dollars. Will you go to four one four? Had about a four. I need a four thousand dollar bid from you. Will you go to four one four? Had about a four. Four thousand little dollars in your skiing. That's only really a thousand dollars a day, and that's a bargain. I mean, really, think about it. You, did I mention you're getting chocolate? Thirty-seven fifty once, thirty-seven fifty twice. Fair warning at thirty-seven and fifty. And for thirty-seven fifty, I just like saying thirty-seven fifty. As you think, she's drumming your fingers. She's thinking. She's going to. Can I tune my skis up? Sold for thirty-seven fifty right there. Bidder number two zero eight for thirty-seven fifty. Thank you. How about a big hand for second place? Can't get there without you. Thank you so much. We don't have all that many items, and this one is a great one because you just heard him talk about this man is passionate about what he does, and here's your chance. The title is So You Think You Know the Okanagan. Well, with Mitch Friedman, he will prove you do not know the Okanagan. You'll spend the day with Mitch touring Washington's most beautiful county, seeing places that only he knows about. The exact itinerary depends on the time of year, your preference from Mitch's list of options, and he's got a long list of, autumn, uh, of options. He knows his way around there. Maybe you want to go to Coyote Falls, to Figlensky Ranch, as he just spoke about. Maybe uh, Wakanda to Mount Kobau. Uh, some beautiful wineries, farm stands in between. It also, you will stay comfortable in a lakefront cabin. It can sleep up to four guests. It's situated on 600 private acres right next to Chili Whist Wildlife Preserve. Big hand for Mitch Friedman and Jovan Johnson. <laughs> Priceless opportunity for some up-close personal time with Mitch. Let's start it out at $500 now. Who's got a five? Got a five right there. Oh, he... He bid on his own thing, 500. Here's 1,000 right there, 1,000, 15, 2,000 right there. Got a 2,000. Who's going to go to 25? Will you go 25 right there? 2,500 over there. Now I need a $3,000 bid. Will you go to three? Had about a three. That's all I need now. Three, one, a three. Had about a three. I want a $3,000 bid. Got three over there. 3,000 bid, 35 right there. 35 here. Now four. Will you go to four? I want a $4,000 bid. Had about a four. Will you go to four? Need a four. 4,000 little dollars is all I'm talking about. Had about a four. Will you go to four? Oh, very nice. Bidding against himself. Again, you'll have to go to the crazy person's table right over there. There's four right there. 4,000 now go to 45. 45? 45 right there. Got 45. Will you go to five? Had about a five. Need a $5,000 bid. Will you go to five? Need a five. I got a 4,500 here once. Got a 45 here twice. Fair warning at $4,500. And for $4,500, it is slipping out of your fingers. Don't badger her. That's my job. 
And I take it very seriously, I do. Fair warning of 4,500, and it is sold for 4,500. Bitter number 215 for $4,500. All right, we have come to uh, this next item. It is our nature photography trip. And this is, uh, is with Paul Bannock. And if you don't know Paul's work, you saw uh, one of his pieces out there, the owl uh, photo. He is one of the country's foremost photographers specializing in owls. Uh, his work is in the Smithsonian, in uh, the Audubon. They have taken pictures of his owl uh, to the moon. I made that up, but they should. They should, they should put it on in space because they are just that good. Uh, he is an award-winning author. He is passionate about what he does. And he also, if you have ever spoken to him, he is one of the nicest people you will ever want to talk to. And he is, yeah, and this is just, he'll, he will show you uh, his secret spots for finding owls. You will have to sign a non-disclosure. I will t say that. He'll make you sign it. He'll blindfold you. You will know where you're going. Uh, but he makes sure that it is a wonderful, wonderful experience. Big hand for Paul Bannock right there. He, he's actually the one that years ago came to the uh, Wild Fish Conservancy auction. And I was doing that one. He said, hey, you should come work for a Conservation Northwest and do our auction. So I owe Paul a big one for that. Worth, oh, I don't know how you put a value on this. He says it's worth over $3,500, and I have no doubt it's worth twice that. Let's start it out at $800 now. Who's got an $800 bid? One eight. Got eight right there now. How about a 12? 1,200 bid right there. Got a 12. There's 16 there. 16 there's 2,000 right there. 2,000 bid needed 24. We go to 24. Had about a 24. It includes a print. 2,400 right there. 2,400 right there. There's 2,800 right there. 2,800. Now we need 32. Who's going to go to 32? Got 32 in the back. 3,200 in the back. Now I need 36. Had about a 36. Will you go to 36? $3,600. The print alone is worth that. Will you go to 36? Want a $3,600 bid? I need 3,600. You're in at 32 right now. I got 3,200 over there right now. I need 3,600 from you. Will you go to 36? I got 32. I'll tell you what. I'll make it easy for you. I'll do 3,400. Will you do 34? You're my 32. I need 3,400. I'm going to come right to this gentleman, make sure that he's not confused about who I'm talking to. Will you go to 3,400? I know you're thinking, will it help if I just back away from you now, now that I've pressured you like that? 3,400, don't even, don't even give it a second thought. You can, tomorrow you can put this portrait online on eBay and double your money, I guarantee you that. If that's what you're worried about, if that's what's stopping you. 3,200 there is once, 3,200 there is twice. There's $3,400, you snooze, you lose. 3,400, will you go to 36? A little bitty more. $3,600 is all I'm looking for. $3,600, sure, why not? $3,600 is bid. I got $3,600 right there. Had about a $3,800. Will you go to $3,800? One to $3,800. I need $3,800. Had about $3,800. Will you go to $3,800? $3,800 is what I'm looking for because I got $3,600 back there. There's $3,800 right there. $3,800 is bid right there. $4,000 even. That's all. A nice round $4,000 proudly. Proudly, she threw that up. 4,000 over there. Now back at you for 4,200. Will you go to 42? Want a 42? Need a 42? Will you go to 42? I got 4,000 over there once. I got 4,000 over there twice. There's 42 right there. 4,200. They're wearing you down. They don't think you have the stamina, but we have seen you in training. We know you have legs. Will you go to 44? I got 4,200. Need $4,400 from you. Will you go to 44? 4,400. 4,600. No hesitation at all. 4,600. Will you go to 48? Don't look at who it is because when you win it and they come up to you with a sour look on their face, you'll know who it was. Just go to 48. $4,800. 5,000 even, and I think you got it. You've worn her down. Will you go to five even? Want a five? Had about a five. I need a $5,000 bid. I got 4,800 once. 4,800 twice. $5,000. 5,000 bid. 5,000 bid over there. Ma'am, he's not serious. He's not standing. You are standing. That's how serious you are. I know. 
5,200. I got 5,000 over there once. I got 5,000 over there twice. Fair warning at $5,000. There's $5,200. $5,400. No hesitation. Or he just has some sort of weird tick and his arm just goes on motion there. 5,200. Will you go to 54? 5,400. 5,600. She has put her battle down. She has cried. She has cried uncle. 5,600 once, 5,600 twice. Fair warning at $5,600. And I can't disappoint you like this. I'll tell you what. I'll do two and I'll do it for 5,400, your price. Will you do that? Oh, she's resigned. I will do it for you at your price. He's going to do it twice. Bitter, yeah, I know you'll do it. Bitter number, what's your bid number? Bitter number 185 and bitter number 35, both at $5,400. Thank you, Paul. Wow. That's some money. You just did some great money. Thank you so much. And thank you, Paul. You're going to have a really fun time. And at that money, he is really going to make it a good time right there, Paul. He's already planning. He's going, oh. All right. This is uh, a wonderful, wonderful, it's our last in our live before we get to our Raise the Paddle section. This is very special. It's a six-day Salmon River rafting trip. It's for two people, six-day guided rafting trip, crystal clear waters, soothing natural hot springs. Uh, you'll see near-perfect native cutthroat habitat merge to create the premier whitewater rafting adventure of the West. You will descend three thousand feet on the middle fork of the salmon river it is six fabulous days in some of america's finest white water more than 100 miles of pristine water the trip includes great hiking to stunning vistas relaxing hot springs along the way superb cutthroat trout fishing pay attention to all the details let's have a great hand for andy held on this great donation Six days of rafting for two people. Let's start it off at a ridiculous bargain basement. $1,000. Who's got 1000 Got 1000 right back there. There's 2000 over there. 2000 over there. 3000 right there. Got a three right there. Now, how about a four? Will you go to four? Need a four. I want a $4,000 bid from you. Will you go to four? Need a four. Got a four right there. Four is bid. How about a five? Will you go to five? I need a $5,000 bid. That's what we're talking about. One five. Need a five. Uh, no, don't flash your light. She's all flashing her thing here. No, I know. It's, yeah. I need a $5,000 bid. I got a four over there. I'm looking for a $5,000 bid. Got five right there. I got a five. Now, how about a six? I want a $6,000 bid from you. Will you go to six? Need a six? How about a six? There's 6,000 right there. Back at you for 7,000. Will you go to seven? Need a seven? Got a seven right there. Seven is bid. Back at you for 8,000 even. Will you go to eight, one, and eight? How about an eight? I got a 7,000 over there once. Got a 7,000 over there twice. Fair warning at seven. Thousand dollars and for seven thousand dollars it is. But wait, I you look like a rafter. I don't want you to go without rafting. I'll tell you what. How about if I do one for you at sixty five hundred and one for you at sixty five hundred? Will you do that? He's nodding. We yes. Bitter number at sixty five hundred. We're gonna do two two three zero and seventy three. Ba boom. Ladies and gentlemen, we have, you did a great, give yourselves a hand on this live auction. You did a wonderful job on that. I'm trying. My goal is to make Mitch cry, and we're getting there. We're getting there. Ladies and gentlemen, turn to somebody next to you, because uh, this is the other moment when I need your attention. Uh, it's the most important part of the program. It is the raise the paddle portion of the program. And the reason I say it's the most important is that you all came in this room. You know you came in this room to support this, this agency. We only had six live items. Maybe you got a silent item, maybe you didn't. Um, this is the part where everybody gets to participate. And nobody ever wants me to say this. They certainly don't want me to say this, but I say this to all my groups because it remains true. Tonight is not actually about the money. Tonight is about participating. It's about being a part of something bigger than yourselves. And if we've learned nothing else in the last two years, we cannot get by without each other. And certainly the Northwest that we love and the outdoors and all of the things that go into the work of CNW cannot exist without all of your participation. Uh, let's face it, in the last two years, you didn't go to movies, 
You didn't go to restaurants. You barely drove. You barely got dressed. Take all of that money and give it to Conservation Northwest because it will make a difference to the bottom line. So uh, if you will lend your attention to the screen, we're going to show you a little video before we have a wonderful speaker. So let's roll this video right now. Thank you. For more than 30 years, Conservation Northwest has worked to protect and connect the wild landscapes of the Pacific Northwest. Our emphasis on wildlife corridors has helped us build bridges across Interstate 90, to connect habitat across Eastern Washington, and from the Cascades to the Rockies. Our successful campaigns and groundbreaking collaborations help define our effective and creative approach to conservation. This is another ambitious effort to connect the South Cascades to the Olympic Peninsula, and we know there are going to be challenges. Cascades is a mountain range just east of here, and it's home to mountains like Mount Rainier and Mount St. Helens, and lots of animals of a diverse nature live in those places. And it's some of the healthiest wildlife habitat we have in the state. Likewise, in the Olympics, it's not quite as big, but it's hundreds of square miles of pristine forest and recovering forest and wetlands and rivers. And then we have this landscape in between, the foothills of the Cascades, the lowlands in the Willapa Hills, and the valleys south of Capitol Forest. The species that you might find in both of those mountain ranges that need to move back and forth would be larger ones like elk and black bears and cougars, and then smaller animals, mesocarnivores like fisher and pine martin, beavers who are semi-aquatic, and then the Willapa Hills in Southwest Washington in particular are really rich in amphibian habitat. Before European civilization came, it was really easy for animal populations to move back and forth through those landscapes. These species would have walked right through here, very short distance, right to Capitol Forest and right onto the Olympics. Now we have a situation where those two core areas are largely isolated and you've got urban and urbanizing areas. When the species needs to adapt, they move. They move to climate refugia, they move up in altitude, they move away from the problem to where uh, temperatures are more acclimated to what they like. Um, they can't do that, that's a huge problem. They have to deal with noise and light, fencing, development. People don't want them around an all array of things that will keep them away from an area. When they get to I-5, if they make it to I-5, they're presented with a loud, ruckus sound, and they're presented with certain death if they attempt to cross it. So the idea of trying to reconnect those two large landscapes through Southwest Washington, under and over I-5, under and over 12, it's really big. When we in CNW first started thinking about this project, um, I, I actually thought it was a little crazy. I was like, really? Really, we're gonna we're gonna tackle this whole I five corridor issue. But the more I learned about it, and um, the more I started thinking about it, and then looking at the successes that we've had over I ninety, and the just groundswell of bipartisan support that we've gotten for bridges under US ninety seven, thought well, you know this this actually is possible. It's a really um, what we like to call a big hairy audacious goal. But we think that we wouldn't be worth our salt if we didn't try. We've identified three major places that we're seeing corridors, and the data backs up our assertions. And we're gonna be advocating in those locations for wildlife crossing structures. We are standing at the southern linkage on DNR land on the west side of I-5. This land has been identified through connectivity mapping and collisions as a key spot for a possible crossing structure in the future. And we are now standing on the most trashed side of that area. This is the DNR side where there's a lot of poaching, hunting, partying. So the habitat is not pristine here, but it's important to remember that the habitat we're trying to connect for species may not be this habitat. So this is a corridor we're trying to open up. A fisher may require much older forest than this. I'm not trying to replace that forest. I'm simply trying to give a fisher a pathway to get to its habitat to find those older forests. Conservation Northwest has partnered with the Veterans Ecological Trades Collectives to find a wildlife overpass in this location. So we were donated in 2018, 120 acres from the Fremont Dock Company in Seattle, Washington. What we've got is the ability to offer veterans 
a spot that they can set up a small agriculture production operation and learn how to do that with an eye towards conservation. The connectivity corridors are highly important uh, to this organization um, because they exist here on this site. This is a major crossing ground for a number of different species and their aim is to bolster those species and aid in their recovery. I've got friends who live on the other side of I-5 and every one of them has a sad story about elk with hoof rot. Some folks told me the elk that are coming through our property are coming all the way down from Joint Base Lewis McCord, which is about 40 miles from here. It seemed to me that if they were coming from that far away, that they were just a hop, skip, and a jump away from connecting with the Wilpaw herd, and that some genetic diversity might help the situation out for that Wilpaw herd. And one of the first things we did was implement a camera program on this location and started collecting pictures of animals. We've collected bear and we've collected elk and we've collected deer and bobcat and coyote. You can tell it's a critical point based on the amount of animals that we capture on a game camera. Rivers and their associated riparian corridors act as networks or highways for wildlife to get around this landscape. Those highways intersect with our highways, so it's important that we keep those underpasses clear of debris and invasive so they can move underneath them. I engage volunteers as much as I possibly can and make them a part of my crew. And a great example is the Sats Up River project where I have four or five volunteers that are major, major partners on this program. A volunteer on one of my projects can expect to sing, joke, laugh, sweat, cry, maybe bleed a little bit. All those things are true, but the bottom line is we're gonna have fun, we're gonna engage each other, and we're gonna try to do something together with a common purpose. If folks are interested, reach out, check our website, and do some work. I think it's really important for people to understand that this landscape has so much potential for partnerships and so much potential to have private landowners not look at conservation as something that goes against their interests. In this age of despair over climate change, this is another place where we can look for hope. As we restore the land for wildlife habitat, we're also sucking more CO2 out of the atmosphere, and that's what we need. Our campaign efforts are really focused on solving multiple problems and that we can solve the wildlife and climate change issues at the same time. And now to offer up some more words of inspiration, the, one of the newest board members, the one and only Lily Wong. Lily. Okay. Hi, everyone. <laughs> that was such a wonderful video, which I feel like it's kind of hard to follow. Um, but I'm Lily Wong, and I'm the one of the newer board members. I joined about uh, two years ago. And, you know, one of the most inspiring things to me about Conservation Northwest, and it seems to be a running trend, um, is the pragmatism of being able to work with different stakeholders to really move things forward. And I think that that's so inspiring. And so before joining the board, I had a little outing with Mitch, who you all know, and Jen Sorowitz. She leads the forest field program. And we went out squidding, and that really means just like fishing for squid down the pier, so not too far away from here. And so, you know, a lot of our conversation was around squid behavior, right? Like migratory patterns, you know, where the squid were gonna go. Um, and I just remember like the person, um, you know, th th there, there was a lot of um, conversation also with fellow squidders because it was so important for both Jen and Mitch to share, you know, the cultural experience around me with the other squidders. I remember the person on my um, left you know, he was really into making his own squid jigs. He had his glow-in-the-dark squid jigs that were just the right amount of weight. And then the person to my right had his own, like, squidding technique. And he was doing this really special thing that proved to be way more successful than any of our squid jigging techniques. And from this little experience, I realized how seriously Jen, Mitch, and the conservation team take conservation and really understanding the stakeholders from little things like understanding who is squidding on a random Friday evening to large things, campaigning for the Figlensky Ranch, purchasing nearly 10,000 acres of land, and then transferring it to Caldwell Tribes. And more than that, putting like 
covenants in place to protect that land and for wildlife migration for the foreseeable future. And this pragmatism and being able to work with so many different stakeholders and rally against the common cause for the betterment of us all is super inspiring to me. And I will say that the last two years have been trying, like super trying, and I think we've all been through that, you know, with the pandemic and everything else. And Conservation Northwest has been such a, you know, I feel so honored to be a part of the board and to be able to contribute. And for this reason, I plan on contributing at an amount that's significant to me. And I, and will you join me in doing the same? Thank you. Thank you, Lily. Yeah. So, uh, I, and you've all heard me say this before, if you've been to this auction, I need you all to reach in your pockets. Obviously, the amount you come out with is going to be different, but if everybody can find a level, and we have a level for everybody, we can make great things happen. And a lot of what Mitch talks about and all of that is about what has been accomplished. But make no mistake about it, what we're doing here is about what they can accomplish down the line, and that, that work needs to be doubled, tripled, and what we're doing is giving them the, the tools, basically, to be able to do that. So find a level, jump in, be loud, be proud. I am so, uh, you know, we were going to start at the $10,000 level, uh, but Rose Orr called in and she said, no, I want to start at the $40,000 level. So, yeah, now is the time for wows and oohs and ahs. Well, yeah, let Rose know when you see her. And not only that, and Rose is usually here every year, and Rose, if you're out there watching, we miss you, but thank you. We are seeding your money first row, or we're making sure it has a good time here tonight. Uh, but also, she's being joined by Tom and uh, Sonia Campion, longtime supporters. They have come in at the $30,000 level. So that is stunning. A bunch of people have uh, called in and said that they want to join in. And uh, so now is the time to uh, proudly uh, raise your paddle. Who's going to start me off at that? Anybody else want to jump in above the $10,000 level? You name the number, and we will write it down, because I don't want to cut anybody else off. And if you want to come in at a prime number, you will gain all of my respect uh, if you want to just come in at a prime number. Anybody want to come in above the $10,000 level? And if not, let's go to the $10,000 level. Who is going to start me off at 10000 Thank you, 195. Thank you, Joseph Joy. 5-0 right there. 5-0. Thank you so much. That is tremendous. Anybody else want to come in at that 10000 Thank you, 229 there as well. Thank you so much. That is also wonderful. Anybody else at that $10,000 level? Thank you, Ellen Ferguson. 219 at $10,000. That is tremendous, as they say. Uh, anybody else want to come in at 10000 If not, let's go to our five. Oh, thank you so much, Bill. 46 also at 10000 65 at 10000 Tremendous. I don't want to cut anybody else off. I'm waiting for that sugar to kick in. Uh, let's go to our $5,000 level. Who is going to start me off at $5,000? I'm going to check too. Oh, Eric Berman uh, came in. Eric uh, from Luann and me. Eric Berman and Luann, thank you so much. I've got it right here. Oh, Larry Engel and Kate Batuello also raised at $10,000. I'm getting some upgrades right here on the chat from people that are watching online. Eric and Larry and Kate, uh, they're also doing... Uh, oh, uh, Alexandra Loeb, thank you so much. She's coming in at uh, 10K. Uh, she says thank you to Eric and Larry and Kate. Thank you so much. Clint uh, Sarowitz just is saying thank you. Thank you so much. I'm reading this and reading this at the same time. Uh, let's. Are we at our $5,000 level? Who's going to come in at 5000 Thank you, 117 at 5000 Bidder number 5151. Bidder number 34, all at $5,000. Anybody else at that $5,000 level? If not, uh, I am uh, uh, just very pleased to announce that we have, uh, we were going to shoot for a $33,000 match in honor 
of 33 years, but people were so generous that we actually, in this match pool, have $36,000. We're going to match everything from here down uh, up to $36,000. So let's start at this $2,500 level. Who is going to help us get to that match? Thank you, Paul. Number six. Number 61. 178 at 2500 247 at 2500 Thank you, Bitter40. Thank you, 178 as well, 176, all at 2500 Who else is going to come in at $2,500? Anybody else at that level? If not, we thank you so much. Where are you pointing? Oh, there we go. Thank you, Bitter. Paul, my spotter right there. Bitter number 22. Thank you so much. Anybody else at that $2,500 level? If not, I'm going to go to the next, a very powerful level, our $1,000 level. And going into this level, uh, Wilberforce Foundation called, and they wanted to throw in another $10,000 to be matched. So we they are adding to that match. So this $1,000 now is... They're matching because they, I didn't get that in my notes. Why don't you tell us? They're, they're matching in honor of Mitch's mother. Oh, that's right. In honor of Mitch's mother. Thank you. I didn't write that down, Paul. Thank you. So thank you, Wilberforce, and uh, thank you, uh, Mitch's mom up there watching over us. Uh, so the $1,000 level is so powerful because I don't know if you've been downtown, but $1,000 only gets you three hours of parking. But at CNW, it goes a long way, and now getting this match, your 1000 is really two. So, oh, and I see, I think that... Uh, uh, Alex Loeb wanted to jump in on this, so she's coming in for another uh, $2,000 in this to go towards that match. Who is going to join in and help us get to this match? Bidder number 1818. 104. Thank you, 54. 183. Thank you, 173. 196. 189. 225. Thank you, 215. 308, Dr. Gabriela Chavarria. Uh, she is the new director of the Burke. I'm going to see her tomorrow night. 202, 198, bidder number 33. Bidder number 47, our Napa goer right there. Bidder number 100, 245, 408, 230. 406 at $1,000, all at 1000 That was tremendous. You got that 10 knocked out of the way. We're doing good on that match, aren't we? Did we make our match? Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. And thank you, Paul, for reminding me uh, on Wilberforce there. That is absolutely wonderful. We still have some more levels. Let's go to our $500 level. Who would like to start me off at $500? These add up. 184. Thank you, bidder number 36. Bidder number 55. Bidder number 24. Thank you, Heinz 57 back there. Bidder number 119. 181, 203, 99 at $500. 283, that's a Queen Anne prefix. Thank you. Six, uh, 232, thank you. 34, twice at $500 because he did not want, he's superstitious, didn't want to come in at 1,000. He wanted to come in twice. Thank you so much. 401, 73, thank you, bidder number eight. One seven zero all at five hundred dollars and two zero eight. Thank you all so much. That was the five hundred dollar level. And we'll go to our next level. And it's a good thing because uh, let's face it, uh, some people have been drinking wine tonight, believe it or not. And uh, they asked me, they go, David, is it okay to give more than once? Yes. It's a, it's a mitzvah. It's a wonderful thing. And if you don't know what that means, ask Mitch or I. We can explain it to you what that is. It's a wonderful thing. Let's go to our $250 level. Who will start me off at $250? Thank you, bidder 205. Thank you, 222. Room 222. Nobody, nobody even knows what that reference is anymore uh, unless you're of a certain age of which I am. Thank you. 226. I'm still standing. 182. Thank you at $250. Anybody else at 
$150. You are doing great. We have one more level in here. Oh, I got to check in here. Mark and Elizabeth McDonald came in at $500, as did Paul Baudet at $500. Thank you all so much. Uh, Anne Mack came in at $1,000. Trisha and Steve Laffman right there. Thank you so much. Uh, Mark and Elizabeth McDonald, I said them. Thank you all so much. Thank you online if you're doing that and keep that up because that really, yeah, that's wonderful. Helps us towards that match. Let's do $100 even. Everybody in this room should do $100. Let's see, 227, thank you so much. 217, 86, thank you. Bidder number 61. Bidder number 18, Mitch comes back in. Bidder number 215, thank you. Thank you, Gabby, she comes back in, 308. Bidder number seven, she all wants to see you at the Burke tomorrow night. Bidder number 199, thank you, bidder 98. Anybody, they're right back there, 213, area code of LA. Bidder number 212, New York. Look at that, coast to coast, right at that table. Bidder number 82, thank you, bidder number two. You don't want to know the arcane knowledge I have in my head. 219, thank you so much. Thank you, just turn that paddle around, that bare paw around towards me. Turn it. There we go, bidder number 304. Thank you so much. I'm good. But I didn't put on the x-ray specs. I just didn't put those on tonight. I can't see through there. Anybody else at $100? If not, you did a wonderful job. We're going to do one more uh, thing and uh, give you an opportunity. Uh, are we going to do the, collect these in person? Yeah. So we want to celebrate 33 years of Conservation Northwest being in business. So let's just give a hand for surviving that long. You know, I don't know if you know this. This is a fact I know just because all I do is benefit work. Most foundations do not last more than two years. Most private foundations or foundations of any sort, they don't last more than two years. So to last 33 years and to do this work is absolutely amazing. And uh, so we're celebrating 33 years. So we're going to collect your bid paddle for a $33 donation just to celebrate 33 years. So hold up your paddle. We will collect those. We're going to go around the room. If you don't want to, just leave your paddle on the table. And if somebody collects it, well, I'm sorry. But hold it up right now for just $33. We should have a pile full of paddles right there because really, what are you going to do with a bear claw paddle? Really, you can't usually, I mean, you know. So we'll go around the room. Thank you all so much. Now, while you are, are holding these up and they are lovely volunteers, let's put our hands together again for the volunteers because they have done a tremendous job. The staff, Natalie, the entire staff. Natalie's cousin worked for us. Thank you, Michaela. All of the staff, they did such a great job in preparing. Let's put our hands together for the wonderful staff here at the Bell Harbor because they do a great job. The technical staff, thank you, gentlemen in the back. Got some more over here. You're doing great. And here is one of the most important parts of this evening. And I have a great job in that I get to kid around. I get to milk money out of people. I see people at their altruistic best. As a matter of fact, when people ask me what I do for a living, I really tell them I'm an altruism consultant because that really, but truthfully, if you take nothing else away from what I say to you tonight, please take this. Tell your children what you did here. Tell your grandchildren what you did here. If you don't think they learn from what you, what you did here tonight, you're crazy. And a lot of you, I'm sure, have watched in the past, watched your parents give. That's how you learned how to give. And maybe they gave to organizations and you're giving in the opposite direction. It doesn't matter. It was the giving that you learned. And they learn from you. And I applaud you in that you have set a wonderful example for your children and your grandchildren. So tell them what you did because they definitely learn. And it is, uh, it is the best way that you can help organizations because guess what? 33 years from now, Mitch might be in a wheelchair, Bill. He'll be on this stage. He will give you an update. He will go on just a little bit too long because he's that enthused about it. But he will be up here. I will not be the auctioneer, but Mitch will still be going at it. I'm retiring. I got to get out of this business. But I applaud you. Give yourselves a hand. You did a wonderful job tonight. Thank you all so much. Natalie, 
I don't think I'm just going to check in here. Any other chats I'm getting? Oh, Catherine Harkins and David Finn gave an additional $10,000. Thank you, Catherine and David. Big shout out to them. Natalie, do I have anything else to tell these people? I don't. Our work here's to do they have to check out in person? If you participated in the online raffle, if you didn't hear, or uh, want uh, or won a silent item, make sure you go to check out. Otherwise, uh, if you're driving and you were drinking tonight, please give us a 15 minute head start. That's all we ask for. And <laughs> and don't forget your car. Uh, my name is David Silverman. We'll see you all next time around. Thank you all so much. Congratulations. See you tomorrow night.